Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 10th Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic is working with tables. So there's several options with tables. Uh, you can certainly insert tables from Excel, but today's topic I'm going to cover working uh, with the Word tables themselves. So in, in order to insert a table, you go to the Insert tab here and go to Table and you'll notice there's several options here. There's option to create your own table. You can create the dimensions of it. Um, you can go down here and draw a table. You could go um, from a spreadsheet or you could go to Quick Tables. And if you go to Quick Tables, you notice there's several options here, like a calendar table, as an example. I'm going to undo that. Um, I'm going to go back to Insert Table, and I'm just going to create a simple, let's do a 5x5 five five table. So the first thing that I want to show you is that if you want to increase the size of your table at a row, as an example, just put your cursor on the far right of the table on the bottom row and hit return and you'll get an extra column okay or an extra row sorry so the next thing I want to show you is it could be a little inflexible here um, because you know you got you know text in this this column text in the second column text in the third column so if you want to center something for example if you wanted a title you, you probably don't want it on the left or the second one you probably want it in the middle but you may not want these bars here right the column uh, lines so what you could do here is highlight the highlight all of the um, cells there and then go to layout and do merge cells and then what you could do here is go to you could type in uh, let's see sales totals Oop. sorry about that let me undo that sales totals okay now if you want to center that just click the center button there okay go back to the home tab and do that then over here you can put name, let's just say Brody Walker, and we'll just say Smith. Okay. Then you can come over here and do whatever. Q1, Q2 sales, Q3 sales. You, you get the idea. And then you can fill it in over here. 30,000, you know, 25,000 whatever the case may be. So you can manually do the table. Um, the other thing that you can do here is if for some reason you wanted a um, uh, you know just a couple of cells to be merged you could do that also. For example if you wanted the three center cells here to be merged just highlight those go to layout merge cells okay and then you have you know if you wanted to put text across across all three of those um, columns there as an example. So that's the basics of um, tables. One thing I want to show you here is if you took a, you know, a lot of times you have odd layouts of a form that you want to create. Tables are a good way of doing that. I'll, I'll give you an example here. So this is an example from just the Little League website of a certificate, uh, uh, an award. So you've got over here, you've got, you know, over here you've got a date, you've got, you know, the signature over here, and you've got some uh, text right here in the middle. Then you have a logo up here in the center. So what you could do here is you could create a table to do this and then get rid of the um, borders. Okay, so one thing you can do here, I'll give you an example. Now we're not going to create that whole thing, but let's go down here and let me actually just delete this. And you can go over here, insert table, and you could create the table. Let's do a, let's just do a six by four for right now. Actually, I should have done a lot bigger than that. Table. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Sorry. Okay. So what you could do here right off the bat is you could go here and take these first five rows, go to layout, merge the cells, and then here you could insert a picture. Okay, let's go here to sample pictures and do, oh, there's baseball right there. Okay, now you could go back to the, um, uh, actually let me go back here to the home button and put that in the center. Okay, then over here at the bottom, where you had, you know, the logo, you probably want several more rows here, actually. All right, so over here at the bottom, you could merge the, these, let's merge these rows together. Okay, and then I go back to layout, 
merge cells, and then I put the logo here. So I'm not. I'm just going to type logo, All right? But you get the idea. You can put whatever you want there. Go back and center that, and over here you could type, you know, uh, date. I think it was. And then over here you could put, you know, all underscores. Okay, and I'd probably merge those two cells together. But so what you've got here is you can put, you can format the the page very flexibly with the use of tables. And all you really need to do now is you obviously don't want to have that saved as a, uh, you know, with all the lines. So what you can do over here is highlight the table and go to design and then you could go there's several options you could go to borders and you could go down to borders and shading and then you could go over here and just say you could do a box as an example okay and now if I go file print preview right there's your there's the start of your form obviously this isn't done but you you get the idea it helps you work on the spacing it can be very uh, unmanageable or difficult to work with a uh, form uh, you know if you're trying to get text in a certain spot or logos in a certain spot the merging of cells lets you put a logo you know shift to the right but maybe, maybe not all the way to the right so with that said um, you know from here you could just you know once you finish your form you could go and turn this into a PDF Okay, and then once you have the PDF, now you've got a good document that you can reproduce, put on your website, you know, use it, you know, whatever your, you know, um, function you need it for. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I appreciate you joining, and uh, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.